Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another Spirit Pick Me Up reading. So before we get into it, first of all, it's again so early in the morning and I'm sharing that with you because I'm finding I'm doing a lot of these readings even before I go to work, my work work. Um, and so you may be feeling the same that you have more energy, you can squeeze more in. Um, you, I'm not a morning person, so that's why I'm mentioning it. It's unusual that I'm up and like raring to go um, first thing in the morning. Um, another thing, when I was setting up my decks, I always place the decks to the left of me and the right of me, and I'm lining up in the order in which I'm doing it. And I usually place the divine power um, on the side of where the Divine Spirit and Pure Love from Spirit cards are. And they told me to put it now on the right, which is more on where our power lies. And they put it next to the real Divine Abundance. So they were making clear to me that looking at real Divine Abundance, not as um, almost being showered on us from Spirit so much at this moment in time, but more that it's in our Divine, more is in our Divine Power to create real divine abundance than we realize. Because that was significant. They told me to place it, uh, our divine power by the real divine abundance. So more is in our hands to actually play a part in creating more real divine abundance. That's, that's a definite message. Okay, so getting into the spirit pick me up. We're gonna tap into the natural oracle for life for body, mind, and spirit messages from spirit for the journey. We're gonna tap into real divine self-care, what we could do. We're gonna tap into real divine abundance, messages from spirit about real divine abundance. We're gonna tap into what's in our divine power, our divine power in this moment. We're gonna tap into divine spirit messages for our divine spirit, and then we're gonna end it with pure love from spirit. So I'm gonna get right into it, but those were definite couple of things that they wanted me to share. for whenever you find the videos. Spirit picking up, tapping into our energy and all who may find this video for our body, mind, and spirit. Completely clear out these messages. I'm just going to shuffle a couple of times until I feel the ready and I'm cleared out. You're cleared out. No preconceived ideas. Open up your mind and heart. We're just going to receive whatever they want to come through. Okay, so for our mind, body, spirit, whatever messages from spirit. Oh, right away. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. One of my favorite cards. Okay, I have to go right into it. Oh my gosh. I love this card. What goes around comes around. It's equivalent to the wheel in the tarot, practically, okay? So what goes around comes around, okay? So what goes around comes around, and right now, you will be on the receiving end as you've been putting out quite a lot, and it's now finally your turn to receive. So this was actually a photo that I took when, um, the, of course, a lily pad, and this was the water, and here was the cloud, and it started to drizzle. So it literally, naturally was the return turn um, of what goes around comes around you know the water evaporated now it's drizzling back so they're saying that we've been putting out quite a lot the change of the wheel so whatever we've been putting out um, it's coming back around and we're going to be on the receiving end so it means like I'm saying results I'm seeing um, your efforts paying off um, so literally all the good all the work all of this that you've been putting out you're finally going to be seeing it coming back to you coming back uh, good things coming back in return um, this is beautiful so this is just a change in the wheel we literally had the wheel come out um, in, as a major arcana at the end of March anyway so this is an explanation mark confirmation that yes what goes around comes around. You're going to be on the receiving end. The next card we get, oh my gosh, I love this, growing to new levels. So literally, naturally, we are growing, just like Ivy does up a building, we are growing to new levels. This is also an explanation mark, 
uh, confirmation because in another reading we were getting very similar cards that we're not giving ourselves enough credit. We are growing, we're expanding, recognize, honor your progress. Literally, it says you're growing to new heights and levels. You never thought it could even be possible and it is. So keep going and growing. And it's the end of delays. You know, what comes around goes around. So we're going to new levels. So change what's going around, coming around. It's enabling us to even go even higher, even farther. Um, so this is beautiful. This is so optimistic. I can see why they wanted me to do this reading because um, this only fuels us up to keep going and growing, right? It's like the wind in our sails, the divine wind in our sails they keep talking about. Okay. And we're getting... Yeah, release that negativity. It's a time of deep release so we can go higher and grow. And um, you know when you have burdens or negativity, when you let it go, it's so freeing. You can go higher and farther and grow. So we are releasing a lot of ne negativity. Um, this can be from recent events, circumstances. It's been a tough year. It could even be really past stuff. We're really deep releasing right now a lot of negativity and toxicity because they made me post a spirit message about that about how to get your energy clear of negativity toxicity um so here release all your worries and negative emotions to the water let it cleanse your soul and wash away all that has been weighing you down yes let it wash away with the tide going farther and farther away but this part that they made me say even before reading it um that's been weighing you down. We can grow to new levels and go higher and farther when we get rid of all that's weighing us down. So there's gonna be a deep release, cleansing, letting it go, just letting it go. Um, so we can go, you know, we wanna go farther and higher and whatever you're trying to accomplish or go for in your day to day. And two came out together. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so we have crystal power crystal power amplifying this whole thing here crystals can help calm cleanse and infuse your energy when you need that when you need it hold them for a moment and breathe recharge and center yourself and your home with crystal energy this could be a great time where after we're releasing and everything else we're literally recharging ourselves with this energy remember like i started in the beginning like i'm energized at seven o'clock in the morning you could be feeling a re-energized um, you could be feeling that after you've released negativity and we're, you know you're getting fuel to go higher and farther, that you're now re-infused. And surround yourself with positivity, things that infuse you, um, definitely things that actually help you calm and cleanse and infuse your energy again. Um, you could literally use crystals. You can use anything in your life uh, to recharge and center. You can surround, um, improve your home. You know, they kept on saying spring cleaning, spring improvements, no matter if you're in the States or elsewhere in the world. Um, it doesn't l literally have to be that spring is your season, but it's very much about cleansing and improving. Um, so you could be really utilizing crystal power or just the essence of crystal power of things that reinfuse your spirit to go higher and farther growing to new levels, um, things that really work for you in your life. Um, and we're releasing a lot so we can go farther and higher. And are we ready for this? Pure heart to get back to this. We've cleansed out. We're complete, completely pure and open again. And it's saying literally to keep your heart pure, clear, and open no matter what has happened. Flush out the old hurts that cause blockages and remain open and clear. There needs to be room to receive all the good that's coming in. So remember, what goes around comes around. You've been putting out quite a lot. It's your turn to receive. So they want you to release all the negativity, anything we've absorbed, all the old hurts, any burdens that are weighing us down, flush it out because you have to make room for all the good that's coming in in this cycle. So this is so gorgeous. And this crystal power is like infusing your energy again to be pure heart energized um, after everything, to get ready for the good that's coming in. The wheel is turning and look, we're going and growing to new levels. You wanna be a pure heart and energized. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, so let's go right into the divine self care of what could, look, it's heart, heart, pure heart. To be a pure heart, cleanse, clear, going farther, higher for this new wheel, what goes around comes around. Um, so we're releasing a lot of the burdens, deep release, release, cleanse, and recharge to be pure, going farther, higher. Um, 
and have your heart open and pure and clear to receive the good that's coming in. So let's see what are the real divine self-care messages to stay a pure heart, to stay clear and open, to help with releasing, really releasing and being open and pure. What are the real divine self-care? I almost feel like we tackled a lot of real divine self-care with these three cards because it's all about releasing the negativity, toxicity, what's weighing you down, re-energizing yourself with crystal power, and being a pure heart again. So that's like already, ooh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. We have take great care of your body and love your body for all it supports you to do in your life. Well, this is a time when we're protecting our literal bodies right now. Um, with what's going on. But um, also, this is a time to really take great care of your body. Really love your body, no matter what shape it's in, what you feel about your body on the surface. It's supporting you with all that you're doing in your life. So whether you need more exercise, whether you want to, you know, how we're protecting ourselves with masks, we're doing all of that. But this could be a time where you really want to take care of your health, of your body, of a new appreciation of all that is supporting for you in your, in your life and take good care if it needs more rest or recharge because there's a lot of release and recharge being fueled up to go so there's a lot of um i want to say not concern um what is it it's just acknowledgement like being more in tune with your body more in tune with your body what is your body saying it needs do you need to rest relax rejuve recharge let go do you need to exercise do you need to just relax um and just having a new respect or a new i don't know if the right adjective sometimes i'm at a loss for adjectives it's not a respect, it's a gratitude, gratitude for your body, for all it's doing for you. And um, and these times take us, make us have more of a concern or more of um, paying attention to our, to our body. We need to take really good care of our body. It's not a bad thing that we're more in tune with that, that we really have to take um, more care of our body and love our body um, for all it's supporting us to do in this life. Um, and then the next one we have is remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done. Yeah, this is going back to in the beginning when they literally told me to put that divine power deck near the real divine abundance deck. Um, there was something about that constantly remind yourself that we have more divine power than we actually give ourselves credit for, that we uh, um, realize. Um, all of this remind yourself often of your divine power to actually get things you want or need done as we're going growing to new levels um we have to remind ourselves of our divine power i have goosebumps because i was very significant that i usually place like i said the divine power is on my left side near spirit messages and they were like no no you put it over here by this real divine abundance deck because you have more divine power than you realize um to get to actually get things you want or need done, which is real divine abundance in the physical, um, to really create more real divine abundance, you have to remind yourself you actually have more divine power than you realize um, to actually get the things you want or need done. Especially growing to new levels. Growing to new levels. Yep. Okay, so let's tap into real divine abundance because they're literally saying you have more divine power than you think for this real divine abundance. So let's tap into real divine abundance messages. Oops, right away we're getting two. They're flying out together and flying out so bizarrely. Yeah, each positive feeling is creating more right now. That's part of crystal power too. And surround, yeah, surround yourself with positivity and peace so that you are supported and going farther. When we're going to new levels, they're saying every positive feeling we have, that's why it's so important to release the burdens, release the negativity, cleanse out, recharge, because every positive feeling is creating more. And then that's the fuel, surrounding yourself with positivity and peace so that you're supported and going even farther. Remember, we're growing to new levels. So you're gonna be growing to new levels and heights heights and levels you never thought it could even be possible and it is keep going and growing yeah you're going to new heights and levels you never thought it could even be possible it is keep going and growing going to new levels so you have to be surrounded by positivity and peace so you can 
feel supported, you're even going further, farther. This is important with all the energy. They always say take really good care of your energy. That's probably back with take great care of your body and love your body. And it's also being very mindful of your energy because it's also on crystal power, like that energy of being clear, releasing toxins, negativity, so making sure you're creating positive feelings and recharging yourself because we're going and growing here. So continue to surround yourself with positivity. You know, this two cards about positivity and this was all about releasing negativity. So it's like really overriding anything you may absorb in your body or the energy. You want positivity to be recharged, especially after we're doing deep releasing here. Um, what goes around comes around. It's a change of the wheel. We've been getting that over and over. We're going higher and farther. And you have more divine power. If you have more divine power, remind yourself often to actually get things you want or need done. Um, and that's the energy and the power that they are seeing is going to help us go to new levels. Okay, they want me to go right. This is short and sweet and very to the point. Um, we're going to new levels. We're absolutely going to new levels. So it's going to be very important to stay positive. Every positive feeling is creating more. This is creating a momentum. It's helping you to go even farther when you feel supported by that kind of energy. That's why we have crystal power energy here helping us to fuel there in a very positive, energetic way. And, and that's after a deep release of negativity. And so we're a pure heart going to new levels. Um, yeah, with this crystal power, like backing and supporting us. This is really beautiful. This is very much in line with the overall April monthly reading, if you didn't get it, and also with the Akashic Records reading. Um, there are just explanation marks and confirmations. I have chills how across readings and across different decks, um, it's a repeating message. When spirit just wants to repeat, 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 um, I feel I need confirmation and affirmation or explanation marks that's what i call them confirmations and explanation marks i can never get enough from spirit when it comes to that and um that and adds to the fuel that adds to the possibility that adds to the energy that we feel supported um to grow to new levels you know it's just beautiful let's get divine spirit messages from divine spirit for our divine spirit as we're growing to new levels growing to new levels even name this that it's the energy to grow to new levels too it's it's positive beautiful going back to what i said it's seven o'clock in the morning i'm never raring to go to even do a reading that's crystal power growing to new levels i'm just using that as an example you're going to find that in your personal and your work and your day-to-day -day. we're getting yeah yeah release the burdens now remember going back to here you can't make this up but Release all your worries and negative emotions to the water. Let it cleanse your soul and wash away all that has been weighing you down. Let it wash away with the tide going farther and farther away. Letting go of everything that's weighing you down because look at this card. We're like the ivy on a building. We're going, growing to new levels here. So anything that was weighing you down is being released. There's a change of the wheel. We're being reinfused to go higher and farther. So they're saying release the burdens now. Definitely release the burdens. We're going farther, we're going higher, we're going to new levels. We want us to be re energized, like a pure heart re energized and flushed out of all the past burdens. Stay true to your heart now. I mean, you can't make this up as you're climbing that building, growing to new levels. Stay true to your heart. We literally had pure heart. I mean, you cannot make this up, okay? Stay true to your heart now your heart growing to new levels stay true to your heart this is so gorgeous as you're growing to new levels just stay true to your heart that's the vein they keep on saying that's the vein to be in as you're going this wants to fall off yeah <laughs> listen to the divine guidance now this has been a recurring message you listen to divine guidance as you're growing to new levels release the burdens now you just stay true to your heart and that is the way that is the way to go as we go to new levels unbelievable okay let's end it with pure love from spirit going to new levels stay true to your heart now listen for divine guidance you could get signs, symbols, messages, and nudging, intuitive feelings. You just know you're going on the right track. Yeah, we are guiding you. You can't make this up. Yeah, they're guiding us. They're grow we're growing to new levels here. Um, we are guiding you. Listen to your divine guidance now. They're definitely guiding you. They're definitely guiding us. Let's get 
some additional care, love, and spirit, growing to new levels and being guided all along the way. We know you miss us. Yeah, if you've been getting, um, I've been feeling like the loved ones who have passed on a lot. <clears throat> if you have two or, or your spirit guides or whatever, but like I said, with sign symbols, messages, um, they know that you miss them. If you're feeling pangs of that, I know I have uh, very recently, I've been feeling um, a pain or you may be talking to them in your mind and heart and they know that you miss them is the message. And we are always here for you. We're always here for you. And it came right on, you know, listen to the divine guidance now and I have chills. We're always here for you. It came out in the Akashic Records card, uh, Akashic Records reading for April 2. We're going to new levels and sometimes it feels like we're doing this by ourselves, but we're not. And we're not alone. And that's why they are here. They're saying we are always here for you and listen to your divine guidance. They're guiding you. They're going to show you the steps. This has been coming up over and over. You'll get signs, symbols, messages. You'll get a knowing that you're on the right track. Remember, all our clear abilities are amplified. So you don't even have to know the terms. But if you have a clear knowing, a clear seeing, a clear feeling, um, it can come in various ways. Um, just definitely stay open for signs, symbols, messages, or just the idea. Um, I don't know if you realize, but... You know, a couple, like I just posted an update to my website uh, right before here and not to get so off track, but I didn't literally think that. I just was listening to divine guidance and I said, maybe this could work, I don't know. And I tried and it did, and then it just happened. Like I just followed through. So sometimes it's as simple as you didn't consciously think it, but you just got, hmm, maybe, maybe I should try this and see if this works. Maybe I should, you know, investigate that. You know, as you're going to new levels, whatever nudges, it could be anything, you know, don't discount. I always say don't discount anything that you get, a hit that you get. Or it could be simple as like, maybe I should, you know, reach out to this person. Maybe I should look this up online. Maybe I should, you know, it's those kind of things that just come into your head um, that you didn't necessarily think of yourself and then you follow through on it. And it leads, it leads you to somewhere. It leads you farther, you know? Um, so that's that. So they definitely wanted me to say that. So yeah, this is definitely, I mean, we are going and growing to new levels. Stay true to your heart. Release the burdens. Listen to the divine guidance. They are around you. They are always here for you. We are guiding you and we are always here for you. And this is just confirmation, explanation, Mark. I wish you all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.